Hey you guys, it's Peter. And I'm back. Of course I'm back. Not going anywhere. I'm YouTube famous now. And before you say, oh my god, this is a car vlog, I didn't want a car vlog, there is a very specific reason that this is a car vlog, okay? And I specifically picked this to be a car vlog today, instead of sitting down in front of the camera, like I was going to do, because I was like, thinking about all this kind of stuff, and as I was running around doing errands, and I was thinking about my time on YouTube, things I've done, my interactions with people, and I thought, it just, it kind of led into this whole kind of conversation in my head that I was having about drama channels and beauty gurus and YouTube in general and all this kind of stuff and so I thought I just want to do this video and why not in a car vlog as if I was just you were sitting in the car with me talking because that's really kind of been what my gig has been from the very beginning has just been like talking to you guys like we're friends because as you know like at, when I started I was like a super uber YouTube fan and that's kind of always been my thing is like I am like obsessed with YouTube and so I was thinking about this because I'll tell you what happened okay so in the last 24 hours videos have gone up claiming things and copyright strikes have been made threats of copyright strikes have been made you know, more and more videos pointed at beauty gurus have been made, on and on and on and on. And I thought, how the fuck did I get pulled into this huge mess of all of this, right? I mean, honestly, this is sin totally sincere video. I was like, how did I get messed up into all of this? And so I was thinking back on like, what had like first happened and when I first got on here, what it, what, what, I think not, as Janice Joplin used to say. Um, what had happened was that one night I was on YouTube and a Sanders Kennedy video came up and it was about Jeffree Star and Kat Von D. And so I watched it and then Jeffree Star's video was next to it and then Kat Von D's. And so I fell down this rabbit hole of all these people. And then Karina Kaboom had made this video and yada, yada, yada. And what happened over the course of like that first, let's say 30 days of me being on YouTube, because this Sanders Karina thing had been going on for a while now, like they had been doing their drama gig and you know, Sanders was wanting to be the Wendy Williams of YouTube and supposedly, and Karina was doing these very, you know, kind of like opinion, I, I'm not making fun of her, I'm just being honest, okay? These very opinion oriented videos and whatever. And then I come into the mix and I start making fun of these drama channels, okay? Because it's like you're poking fun at these people for what, like, why are we so obsessed with it? But like, it was never like meant to be mean hearted. It was all in jest, right? And in looking back, what's so funny about this is like that, that first 30 to 60 days that I was doing YouTube and I was doing a lot of videos about like, Oh, drama channels and beauty gurus and all that kind of stuff. Like, I didn't understand it. Like, I didn't know an, I didn't know a Manny Mua from a, I mean, a Jacqueline Hill. I didn't know any of them, okay? And, you know, like, I can remember the very first time I saw Patrick Starr and he was, like, on Manny's bed and they were, like, just laying there talking and I, like, was like, oh, are these just, like, two gay guys that, like, are friends and Patrick Starr's a drag queen? Like, I didn't know anything about it, right? Like, seriously, I didn't know anything about it. And then I remember Jacqueline Hill being, being mentioned in a video and then Sanders doing a video about Nicole Guerrero and talking about how she wouldn't let him in the elevator and all that controversy and and I just kind of started over time becoming slowly obsessed with all this stuff right and not obsessed really with like the makeup community of which I know shit about but really about these people and their lives and I became intrigued with all of it but you know I would say that on a grade level back then like the drama was rather innocent, okay? You know, Karina would make a video talking about, and like, I have to say, honestly, in her defense, that Karina has kind of stayed across the board. I mean, she's very passionate and kind of aggressive in her videos, but like, her content has always kind of been her opinion, and this is sh whatever. Like, she hasn't really fluctuated a whole lot. Like, I have to stay sh say she's the one that's kind of stayed 
the same through all of this. You know, and then Sanders was doing these videos that when I first watched him were like videos on one or two things and now they've progressed into these like 30 minute videos with eight different topics in them and they're basically like a sit down show. But but it ever it, anyway when we were doing this like at the beginning there was something very innocent and kind of funny about it even if we were all throwing shade at each other indirectly i mean you know even karina got on camera and called me trisha paytas's minion and you know and you little bitch and all this kind of stuff and at that point it was all like even though i didn't like it it was all still kind of fun and games right like and I loved finding out about these new beauty gurus. I loved f and what they were talking about and why people were getting so upset about it and all this kind of stuff. And, you know, like today, it's like cutthroat, you guys. Like, it's gotten way, way out of control. And there are now, like, 10 people involved in all of this mess that, like, weren't even, like, on the map doing any kind of videos at that time that now are like making videos, putting their two cents in, getting very, very involved, all this kind of stuff. And it's really become, these videos from, you know, the makeup guru point of view has become like, like they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger and then the drama channels are getting bigger and bigger because they're so cutthroat now that they're like intent on taking these beauty gurus down. Like we're going to destroy their business, okay? Like it's not, it's not like my opinion, like in my opinion, like Karina Kaboom used to say jokingly I'm, I'm poking fun honestly. But like, you know, in her opinion she would like do a video and she would say like, well, I bought this new Maybelline, uh, you know, lipstick, I'm making this totally up, lipstick that, you know, Manny MUA um, said was the greatest lipstick in the entire world, and I wore it, and it didn't stain my lips, and I couldn't stand it, and whatever. But now, it's like, um, you know, the drug and the Food and Drug Administration says that in code 6452 that this ingredient isn't in it and we need to take this person down and not only that, but they did this and they did that on Twitter and they did this and this person is you know, uh, a horrible person and you shouldn't follow them. I mean, we're like at this point, this whole thing has gotten like way out of control. Okay? Like so, so, so out of control and I'm like sitting back at this point just kind of sitting back with my, just watching it all unfold. And I'm like, so the beauty, the drama channels are fighting the beauty gurus, okay? And the beauty gurus are some of them fighting back, but they obviously have more power and they have really nothing to lose anyway because they have millions of subscribers and why they care, I, don't, I will never understand that. Go on and do your thing, okay? Go on and continue to do your makeup. And then the drama channels are fighting each other. And now I have removed myself from that, so have at it, okay? And I can tell you, the consistent thing I have been saying to everybody that does this, the, of the people that I, I still talk to is, be careful, okay? Just be careful. Not of any person or anything, just be careful. Like, what is your intent on YouTube? What are you wanting to do? Because I miss the days back you know, when it was like, oh, this happened or that happened or whatever. And listen, I understand that if some things come up that like, you know, let's just talk about Chick-fil-A for a second. All right. I was never a good gay when it came to Chick-fil-A being homophobic. Okay. And all that kind of stuff. And, you know, gay guys and lesbian couples going and taking their pictures, kissing the parking lot of Chick-fil-A and all that kind of stuff. Man, I'm telling you right now, I wanted my chicken biscuit for breakfast. Okay. And I did not go through, but I wanted to. Okay. And I can tell you many times I, it was real hard for me not to. So anyway, I actually think that's, uh, no, I think I did go through like one time and I felt so guilty about it. But anyway, I remember like looking around like this. So, you know, it's like, I understand if you have political controversial issues with these people that own businesses, fine. But like at this point, why are we intent on destroying people's business? Okay. 
why has drama, like I didn't even know, like I can remember like the first one I said I wasn't a drama channel because I didn't even really know what a drama channel was, all right? Like I just was a person that liked to make YouTube videos and comment on other YouTubers. I didn't know if I was a drama channel. I didn't know what a drama channel was. I mean, I really didn't, you know? And now it's like these drama channels are like legit, out, they, they're out of control, okay? I mean like it's out of control. It's like at the point of like, we are gonna ruin somebody's life and we're gonna ruin their livelihood at the expense of us building our channels and making money. It's problematic, okay? And the sad thing about it is I can sit on here and say whatever I wanna say and somebody said the other day, it was so funny in one of my comments, they said all drama channels talk about being positive, which is kind of like very funny. I mean, it is so true. Even though I do it, it is very true, right? And the thing is, is that like, these drama channels are making videos, and if I'm a drama channel like this, blame me for the same thing, okay? I'm not saying that I, you know, it, don't do the same thing, but like, they're making, but my videos I make, I'm making about my opinion, okay? Very much like Karina Kaboom did back in the day. Very much like Sanders Kennedy did. Very innocent, right? I'm not saying, let's take down this person's business, okay? I'm gonna show you facts as to why this person's business like should be taken down. What's really sad about it is, I can't imagine working for two years on a project that I was excited about, that I had put my heart and soul into, to have somebody get on camera and the second that it comes out, just like, I mean, I can't imagine as a writer writing a book for two years and the second that it comes out, let's say two weeks before it even comes out, right? Somebody that has, you know, a group of people that have so much pull on the internet saying this is the shittiest book in the entire world that I have ever read and he stole the idea and he plagiarized the idea and he copied the idea from somebody else. Like, I can't imagine what that would feel like in my heart, okay? I, I just can't even imagine doing that. And so like, to speculate about it is one thing, to do it with in malicious intent is another, and I think the drama channels have crossed the line. I think it's gotten way out of control at this point. And if you've watched, what's interesting is, especially with Sanders and I, I've noticed we've pulled way back, okay? Like, I don't want any part of it. And I don't think Sanders wants any part of it either. And I think Karina continues to do her gig, but she's very she's very safe in what she does. I mean, I, Karina Kaboom is a smart cookie, okay? Like, I think she knows what she's doing, and I think she tries not to cross any lines, so to speak. Um, and I, I've poked a lot of fun at her in the past, and I don't agree with some of her opinions, but that doesn't mean that I don't respect her gig, okay? And I do, because I think she plays it on her own, she plays it very safe, and, you know, I listen, I don't respect the no comments and all that kind of stuff because of what, death threats, okay? I mean, it is what it is, but I mean, if you've got to do that, fine, but you have no interaction with the people that are watching your videos in any kind of way. No social media, nothing, no social, no interaction whatsoever. Um, which basically says the buck stops here, with my opinion. So, I mean, it is what it is, but that does, I don't really care so much about that. I mean, I think that she gets on camera, she states her opinion, and she goes forward. She's not trying to ruin people's careers, okay? I don't really think that's her intent. But I think there's a couple people out there, three or four, that they're like really intent, like they become obsessed and you can see when you watch them, they don't look healthy, okay? They just, they don't look like they're well. And I think they're becoming obsessed and I think that if this is past the point of a hobby or even a career and I think or a brand, or whatever you wanna call it, and it's obsession at this point, okay? It's what can I put out there next to really decimate this person's life and career, to get more views, to get more subscribers, to become more popular. It's really, really sad, all right? That you care so little about fellow human beings that you are willing to do whatever it is, okay, to rise to the top. You are willing to ruin somebody's career and you are willing to ruin it. And you know, like, it's hard because I think as a viewer, like, and as a YouTube lover, I like, it's hard not to watch the drama, right? I mean, if somebody posts a video, I'm not trying to get somebody that I love, like, I mean, if somebody posted a video, 
for Trisha Paytas example. If somebody posted a video about Trisha Paytas and said, you know, Trisha Paytas has, you know, an identical twin sister that she keeps in a cage in the garage, you know, I would be like, what? Like, I would totally go watch it. So it's hard as a viewer because you kind of know you're feeding into that negativity, but at the same time, like, you're so drawn in, which the drama channels know, and they're building their careers on that and making lots of money off the hate of other people. But this has gotten to the point where we're now talking about copyright claims and I'm going to press charges and I'm going to sue you. And I mean, it is so out of control, you guys. This is not us sitting around with Karina Kaboom and her Care Bears or me and my blue nail polish or Sanders Kennedy. You know, I mean, like, this is way past that at this point, okay? This has gotten very, very ugly. And I'm telling you right now, this. This, something horrific is going to come as a result of this. Somebody is going to get very, very hurt, emotionally or physically, or something. I mean, I, I can just see it happening. Something's going to happen. Like, this is going to be devastating to somebody's life. This is not going to continue to go on like this. I mean, this has to have an end at some point, you know? Somebody's career is either going to be ruined by this or, I mean, it's just something horrible is going to happen. You cannot just continue to do this and put this out there into the universe and not think that it's going to have repercussions. You know, and if you are doing that and you are putting that out there, either you're a sociopath that has absolutely no emotions whatsoever, or you don't think that the rest of what applies to the rest of the world applies to you, okay? And that's really sad. And then it makes me wonder what has happened to you in your life that you have such an ugly soul, okay? Like, go fix that and make beautiful videos because I miss the days of watching beautiful makeup gurus and funny drama channels. And maybe I should have just said that at the beginning and made this a 30 second video and probably most of you will agree with that, but that's what I miss, okay? I miss the beautiful beauty gurus with their beautiful lives and I don't care how much money they're making off of it and I like to see their houses and their cars and all that kind of stuff and then the funny drama channels that are poking fun at all that. I miss that. That's what I miss. That's my two cents. So, anyway, I love you guys so much. Follow me on all my social media and follow my uh, daily vlog below. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'd love to hear it. Bye.